Do you ever find yourself trying to sit down and meditate after a long day of work and you just want to give yourself that time to unwind, but you fall asleep and you feel like you got no progress in your meditations, you just slept? Maybe even you had one of those naps where you wake up and your eyes are crusty and you're like, is it 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? I don't know. Where am I? Well, I have learned some reasons to why you could potentially be falling asleep during your meditations and how you can stop that from happening. Let's get into it. Number one, maybe you're too fatigued. Either from a long day of work, a very stressful day, energy being sapped from you because you're sick, or just because you had very bad sleep the night before. All of those can stop you from having a great meditation because you're too fatigued and you end up falling asleep. If you're having a hard time, with falling asleep during your meditations because you have bad sleep habits, then I have a video just for you down in the description that talks all about how to get a good night's sleep. Go check it out. If you're falling asleep due to stress, and once you're finally relaxed, you collapse, then I recommend starting with breath work first. If you give yourself a five minute beginning session, beginning practice, where instead of meditating first, you do a small breath work exercise. Just sit there and consciously with your eyes open, do some deep breathing. And then slowly close your eyes and allow yourself to ease into it. Because if you ease too quickly, you may just fall asleep. Meditation is a practice. It is a focus, it's mental training. Allow yourself to get into it. Slowly with breath work first. That breath work will also help you to relieve that mental stress and physical stress so that you can ease into a deeper meditation. Finally, if you can't seem to meditate because you're falling asleep, because you're sick, then I recommend, just as a normal person saying I care about you, allow yourself to sleep. That sleep is more important than meditation. If you want to do something to de-stress, again, go to breath work. Just giving yourself a second to be fully conscious, but also to mentally relax through breath work instead of meditation. Give yourself that time to rest so your body can recover and get its energy back. Number two, you could be meditating in a place that your body is associating with sleep. So, your bed. If you meditate in your bed and you think, oh, it's so comfy and I'm so tired, and etc etc you could fall right asleep because your mind associates your bed with sleep instead of meditation the way to solve this is by giving yourself another place to meditate specifically make somewhere that is for meditation for itself it's, it's your practice place just like how your desk is for work or your the spot in your room is for eating or whatever have specific spots in your room for meditation because that will allow your brain to say, oh, I'm in this spot, it's meditation time. So give yourself a new spot specifically for meditation. Number three, confusing relaxation with meditation. Meditation is specifically a tool. It is a type of mental practice. It's mental training. There is a Buddhist word that I will put up on the screen. I do not know how to pronounce, but it is known as consciousness training or mental training. You're training your focus and your awareness. Meditation is about sitting with your thoughts, being aware of them, and controlling your focus, exercising your focus. Whenever you're in meditation, you're aware of your thoughts, and anytime that you get taken off of your train of focus, you gently bring your focus back to your breathing or a specific mantra or whatever. Meditation is not about specifically relaxing. It is about self-reflection, going inwards and doing a mental exercise in a way, if you want to put it that way. It is a new, different state of being. So allowing yourself to realize that you could say, oh, now that I know that it's more of a mental training, I won't just relax because I know I need to be more attentive, more aware, more focused. Number four, maybe it's a focus issue. Maybe you're falling asleep, not because it's a fatigue 
or a mentality issue. Maybe it's a focus issue. Maybe you don't know how to focus on meditation. So here's how you can solve that. To know how to focus on meditation, here's what we do. Essentially, give yourself something to focus on. Whenever you notice that your mind is taken off of that focus, acknowledge it and gently bring your mental focus back to your focus point. So, for example, your breath, counting your breath, or just being aware and consciously breathing in and breathing out. Or being aware of a mantra, giving yourself a mantra, I am, I am, or even the OM. You know, giving yourself a mantra like that will also help you focus. So practice your focus. And the thing is, there's no real tips or tricks. This is a head-on thing. Just give yourself one small thing to focus on and practice. To summarize and conclude, a few reasons why you could be falling asleep while you're meditating is either you're too fatigued, you're meditating where you normally sleep, you're associating meditation with sleep or relaxation when it's its own thing, or you just need to practice your focus a bit more. I will have another video down below that will give even more tips on how to keep yourself awake whenever you're falling asleep. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you got anything out of it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Go ahead and share if you feel like somebody could use this information. And I am trying to grow this channel. I want to help people learn all about meditation, about how to get great sleep, and how to grow their own spirituality. I'm on my own personal journey, and I would love to help others with theirs and create a little community where we can talk about it. So if you enjoyed this and feel like you vibed with everything that I just mentioned, please, you know, comment, share, like, subscribe. Any little thing helps me greatly and I appreciate anything that you would want to do. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.